Hey y'all, so today we are making a buffalo cheese dip to prepare for the championship game tonight. Ohio State versus Alabama. I believe in you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, yeah. If you are new or returning, thank you so much for being here. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, take a moment and subscribe go ahead and like the video um leave me a comment down below and let's get to this quick video i hope so the ingredients are rotisserie chicken you can get this from your walmart piggly wigglies wherever you know they sell rotisserie chicken you don't have to go and bake a chicken um and then you have ranch dressing and red hot you also have eight ounce block of um, cream cheese, mozzarella cheese, and mild cheddar cheese, garlic powder, black pepper, and of course some green onions. Now the mild cheddar and the mozzarella, you can get the blocks and you can shred it and it will melt better than this right here. But y'all, I'm glad I got this because I don't have time to do all that, okay? And I'll make sure I um, put the ingredients, um, the measurements in the video. Okay, first thing you're going to want to do is take apart this chicken, get the chicken breast off. But since this is such a small chicken, I'm probably going to end up using um, dark meat as well. The second thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and turn on... You're gonna want to turn on your um your oven. You're gonna want to turn your oven to 375. Okay. And you're just gonna take it apart like that. And I'm not using the skin, just the meat. So we're gonna set the skin aside. I'm just gonna put it down in there. And you're not going to use the bone and I'm not going to use the gristle and I love me some gristle I'm sorry y'all I do so I bought this chicken yesterday from Walmart and you're just gonna shred it up in there right now I'm just gonna break it apart and then I'll shred it up I'll come back and shred it up. I just want to get it off the bottom. Hard to get that. There we go. Dark meat is so much juicier than white meat, so I'm definitely using this uh, minus that bone. And you don't need to watch me um, break apart the chicken. I'll come back when I shred it and show you that part. Wishbone. Make a wish, y'all. Now you're just going to want to take the meat and shred it apart. If you want, you can use your mixer. I saw someone do that. They put it all in their um, kitchen, <laughs> kitchen, kitchen aid and just broke it apart. Of course, you gotta have the right meat. Can't have that tough stuff. Oh, I think I got a bone. Good thing I'm checking it. Look at that bone. No bones allowed. No skin allowed. Goodness. So now you're gonna add one teaspoon of garlic powder and black pepper. This your dry ingredient. I would say get you a wooden spoon, but, well, you can get you a wooden spoon. I can't because um, I got to wash some dishes. <laughs> well, the kids got to wash some dishes. So just mix that up right there. 
Next, one cup of red hot and ranch dressing. Right there, just pour that on over there. Now, in the recipe, you can use your own homemade ranch dressing. Like I said, I'm doing this because I don't have time to do that. The game about to come on. So you're just gonna pour that on in there. Don't that look good, y'all? Look good already. You gonna mix. I guess I should have put my kosher salt in there. It should have been with the dry ingredients. And it slipped my mind, but that's all right. Never too late to join this party. That looks so good. It looks just like how when um he made his. I'm still breaking it up while I'm turning it around, y'all. So now I'm just going to use the kosher salt right here. And I'm just going to sprinkle very little, very little. That's it. Stir that around. I'm going to add half of this. Um, this is a half a cup, but I'm going to add half of it to the mix. You need to join the party, too. It's the championship party right here. I don't know who you're going for. If you, if you like football, put in the comments who you're going for, Ohio State or Alabama. Well, who did you go for? Because this won't come out to after the game. This was supposed to be prepared over the weekend, and I didn't. So now I'm going to add to the bowl party. I have mozzarella, I have my cheddar, and I'm going to add half of each because I'm going to save the other half. And this is one cup and a half of each. And I'm just going to save that half a cup for the party to go on top of the bowl. Mix it up. That's it, y'all. Just mix, mix, mix. That look good. Oh, y'all. That ain't it. I'm so in a... See, that's why you shouldn't be rushing to do something when you know you had all day to do it. This should have been done earlier today. Got to put the cream cheese in it, and it needs to be uh, room temperature, or you won't be able to mix it up like this right here. I was like, why am I looking like it looking? That is the key ingredient, sis. You can rebound from any mistakes you make almost when you're cooking. And I caught it just in time. Ooh, that looks good. That's going to help it melt real good. Smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know how spicy it is. I don't mess with that red hot. Uh, Frank's red hot. You know what that lady said? I put that. Mm, mm -hmm. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do? A little corner. I don't want to leave you out. He trying to hide over there in the cut like a uh, person named asked to the party. I asked him to join this party. Now get on in there and mix it. I'm going to stop acting silly. So I'm going to take this pan. I know it's an oversized pan. I probably should use a smaller pan. Let me see if I can dig one out real quick. So we're going to replace that bowl with this bowl right here because it's smaller. I'm going to save this pan for something else to make. All right, so I put um, aluminum foil on my bowl because I hate cleaning glass bowls. I really do. All right, y'all. Can you see that? There we go. 
Look at that goodness in that bowl, y'all. We just gonna put that on in there. Let's put that on in there. I'm ready. Uh, as stove top kisses say, I'm ready to sop this up right now. Yes, I am. Ooh, that that fit just perfect in this little bowl. Okay, so she in there. Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put a little of this on the top, little green onions, and then we're gonna mix this around. Cause we're gonna put this on top too. So we got cheese in the middle and cheese on the top. That's what we got. If you want to add more cheese, uh, the recipe says you, that you can. I think this is all the cheese I want to add because I love my stomach. Give it a little color right there. And this will go in the oven for 20 to 30 minutes. Well, first you're going to start your timer at 20 minutes and then check it. If it's bubbling around the sides, then it's cooking great on the inside. If you want it brown, then you can leave it in there for 10 extra minutes or five extra minutes and just bump your oven up from 375 to 400. And I'll be back with the finished product. Okay, y'all, this is what it's looking like right here. I kept it in there for an extra 10 minutes and I put it on 500 just to get that crisp around the edge right there. And then now I have my hot wings over here. Turn that light on. Got my hot wings right there. And then over here, I got my honey mustard right here and I'm about to plate up. That dip, y'all. See that dip? You got that little party plate going right here. That's good right there. If you want it a little more melted, just put it back in the oven. Mm. Spicy. Y'all have a good night. I'm going to go watch this game. I love y'all, but God loves you more. I believe in you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me.